today we have another very short video today we are going to see how we can use rgb ram to control the opacity of any object so i'm going to start off by taking a simple sphere and let's scale this up and i'm going to choose a simple resolution of maybe like 1k so i have simple sphere here i'm going to apply a new material this will be our basic stance surface i'm going to call this i don't know cell and let's make the weight to one so i'm going to go to my hyper shade here and uh, let's make this material a bit more interesting than the usual one so i'm going to choose something like maybe a copper and we'll leave it to that and let's go to the hyper shade and from here i'm going to choose the graph network here and uh, let's go to our ram so we have already covered how the ram works in the earlier video you know everything regarding the interpolation the type and the gradient and everything so we'll see how we can use this to drive the opacity so if you go to your overall sand surface here you'll notice that you have a couple of channels here to drive your material and if you go to something like a geometry you'll see you have this opacity channel here which kind of cre um, determines how much you can say transparent or translucent or opaque your material is or your object is so if i make this a complete black you'll see your material completely disappears so i'm gonna select my ramp here and i'm gonna keep the overall color a and b to the default color which is a black and white and i'm gonna attach this color to the opacity here so now you'll see something like this and i'm gonna choose maybe i'm gonna keep it to that and let's go to the overall ipr here and uh, i'm gonna take a simple physical sun and sky i'm going to make the overall test resolution to maybe something like a 75 okay so now we have something like this now i'm going to do one thing i'm going to go back to my geometry and opacity and notice what happens if i drive my one color to closer to the let me just change this back to 100 and let's update the full scene so now you'll notice that uh, as you can say color a goes towards the color b which is from black to white your object is slowly kind of fading away now black basically means um, nothing a completely you can say transparent object and white means opaque so if you make the black color towards the white you will notice that slowly your object is kind of fading away so now although our object is not hollow at all but you will see that in the ipr because of the overall how the ramp is controlling the overall opacity here so what I can do with this is I can invert this as well if I want the top part to be disappeared so I can make that as well I can change the overall direction if I want and I'm gonna make the white around here and I can use this as well so I can make this maybe like a diagonal and I can use that as well so I'm gonna keep it to V and let's see how we can do a couple of more things with this now if you'll notice that the overall transition is a bit more smooth which is exactly how we want it but let's say you don't want this you want a pretty sharp looking edge like a procedural system so what we can do is click on none and click on none and i can bring this back now you'll notice that we have a sharp hemisphere going on like it has been cut away something like this and something right about there so now you have a simple bowl which is completely procedural we have not extruded not touched our geometry at all so now you have something like this so you can use ram to control your opacity channel as well you can create pretty amazing stuff with this and uh, you have pretty amazing looking hemisphere here so you can come up with different type of stuff how you can use this how you can implement this same technique into other stuff as well and if you want a bit more smooth transition you can choose smooth and uh, you can have this as well now you can do a couple of more things by adding more color nodes here uh, not nodes but color markers and you can choose something like maybe a white here so i'm gonna pause this now and i'm gonna make something like this a kind of a checker thing and let's choose white again all right so so now we have something like this so you can do a couple of interesting stuff with this i'm gonna make this a bit more linear and uh, maybe make this none this one to none as well so now we have a bit more different result regarding the overall opacity here so now you have a hollow object on the top and then in between you have an opaque matte object and then you have the hollow in the bottom part as well so now you can create something like this you can choose any type of uh, type you want uh, the gradient type and you can come up with pretty amazing geometry style 
to create this kind of amazing design so have fun with this create something out of this you can create pretty amazing stuff with this so if you do create something out of it let me know show me on my instagram and we'll see all right so that's it for this one i'll see you in the next video